We are experimenting with cow, buffalo and goat's milk, making kefir with it. The same grain to milk ratio is used for all three experiments as well as the um, time and temperature exactly the same. So as you can see the buffalo milk is quite thick. The reason why it's so thick is because it contains, it contains more fat than cow or any other milk that we've got here. Goat's milk is thinner, it's got less fat and you will also see that it doesn't coagulate as the other milks does. It's mainly because of the fact that its uh, fat particles is spread evenly throughout the milk. Okay, buffalo milk is also high in protein content. It contains 50% more protein than cow's milk and it's got nearly 40% more calcium. And it's also rich in tocopherol, which is great for fighting free radical damage. It's a natural antioxidant and it also helps with skin and hair health. Um, and even with the hormone imbalances and PMS symptoms. Okay, so goat's milk, people would like to use goat's milk because goat's milk or sheep's milks are better tolerated by those with allergies. Uh, it doesn't contain as much um, casein, 89% less casein than normal milk does. As you can see, there's quite a difference in the consistency. There's the co coagulation that I talked about, especially at the buffalo's milk. You can see the... Um, goat's milk is quite nicely distributed throughout so there's the differences in consistency goat's milk also contains more potassium 134 percent more potassium than cow's milk and potassium is well known to support blood pressure cardiovascular health bone and muscle strength that's quite good to know isn't it and then with buffalo milk it's iron fat content as mentioned earlier and that's why you get a thicker kefir um, also don't forget grain type definitely grains do make a difference if you uh, certain grains make thicker kefir and other grains thinner kefir so the next best thing to do is to get the perfect ratio of kefir grain to milk ratio right so that you can get the perfect consistency of kefir every time remember the time and temperature also plays a big role but um, mainly it's all about your ratio some people even ferment the kefir in the fridge I'm also one of them and it really helps to make a thicker kefir it also slows down your grains so that you have more time to consume the kefir um, before the next batch is ready and that's it from me I hope you enjoy your weekend enjoy your day and thank you thank you so much for popping in I feel so blessed to have people like you that support me if you've learned anything from this video please press the subscribe button if you're not yet subscribed and if you like this video please press like and please pardon the dog I've got a dog his name is Chili and he loves barking at anything that moves what can I say it's life and I have to make videos I like it I like to share information have a glad <laughs> have a gladly day um, have a lovely day and enjoy. Bye.